Welcome to Daily Office through Christ United Methodist. This is Pastor Kurt. Hey, this is Aaron. Today we are looking at the, this week we're going to go through 1 John, uh, talking a little bit about forgiveness and grace is going to be sort of the themes. Um, today we're starting with 1 John chapter 1, verses 1 through 4. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked at and our hands have touched, this we proclaim concerning the word of life. The life appeared. We have seen it and testify to it. We proclaim to you the eternal life, which was with the Father and has appeared to us. We proclaim to you what we have seen and heard, so that you also may have fellowship with us. And our fellowship is with the Father, with his Son, Jesus Christ. We write this to make our or your joy complete, depending on the translation. So, this is God's word for God's people. Let's say thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Shackled by a heavy burden Neath the load of guilt and shame In the hand of Jesus touched disciples actually got to walk and talk with Jesus to experience his hand on their shoulder and and experience him close to them he says we're writing you about what we experienced we're telling you about what we saw and heard and touched and felt and it ends with we write this to you to make our joy complete or to make your joy complete so for, for us as followers of Jesus, removed generations upon generations from those who walked and talked with Jesus. How do you hear Jesus? What are the ways that you see Jesus? What does it mean for you to be able to feel Jesus' touch? Take a moment and ponder that. Think about it. You might want to respond in the chat. How do you see Jesus? How do you hear Jesus? How do you feel Jesus' touch? Those who walked and talked with Jesus left us the memory of their story. And somewhere infused in our DNA is the memory of that sight and touch and sound. How do you reconnect with that as you walk through this story? Father God, give us the grace of a sanctified imagination. Give us ears to hear and eyes to see. And help us to sense the touch of Jesus on our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Since I met the blessed Since he cleansed and made me whole, I will never cease to praise him. I'll show 
shout it while eternity rolls. He touched me. Oh, he touched me. Something happened, and now I know he touched me and made me whole. Amen. I uh, was talking to my wife's grandmother at one point. And um, I asked her what her favorite hymn was because she always loves, she loves watching Daily Office. She lives in Bluffton, Indiana, which mm -hmm. um, is quite a while away. It was a little bit. Um, it's like two and a half hours. But she loves watching Daily Office because she loves watching us do the worship and, and all that stuff. And uh, she told me her favorite hymn was He Touched Me and In the Garden. Mm. So uh, when you did First um, John today and talked about how do you touch Jesus, Jesus. and I was like, no, mm -hmm. that's it. That'll work. That's it. Yeah. So. Thank you all so much for joining us along this along this ride here. Um, I think this is the 27th week now, um, if I counted right. Mm -hmm. We're in it, so we're in it for the haul. So, thank you guys so much, and we will see you tomorrow. But until then, have a great day, and God bless. Mm -hmm.